Okay guys, so today we are going to be using a tank. Reason is I want to help those people that need help with a tank. Uh, I'm talking about survivability. Uh, I was using a tank and within 30 seconds of getting into one I was in the ground burning. Dead. So th if you're having trouble you know staying alive and ranking some points this video is for you if you're not one of those people that are one of those tank masters you know killing everybody knows what he's doing this video is not for you and you could get the hell out of my class but if you're still here thank you for joining me I hope these quick tips help you and uh, you become a better driver tank driver a tank driver hope you're a better tank driver after this video so we are going to be focusing on staying alive and just quick tips that things you shouldn't be doing and things you should do so one tip that I will say right now if there's an objective area being taken over like you know you see the thing happening the, the switch of colors I would say push up and try to help the team only to make sure that that point is being captured especially on games like breakthrough where the objective is the thing that matters the most to move on forward forward or to uh, stay in place if you're defending but also with that being said though we have to be very careful that it is it is safe for us to move up okay when I say that you have to be very careful I do mean you have to be very careful reason is you may think the spot is safe I thought it was safe the place is being taken over I got friendlies on the ground there's another tank but Okay, so with these heavier tanks, you really want to keep your distance. But you really want to scope the area out if you have to go inside these objectives. Luckily for me, I was able to spot this tiger tank before he spotted me. And I was able to do a bit of damage before he was able to do any kind of damage to me. Also, more importantly, I had my chassis angled towards him. So I had one of, one of the corners of my tank, my right side, pointed towards him. So what this does is his rounds will ricochet off off my armor like right now so i went from 89 points of health to 88 and that's what you want <clears throat> that's what you want to happen like as many as many times as possible but the ricochet bounces off more often you're longer in there in the fight and you're not losing any health what you want to do with these heavier tanks is you want to fight like a sniper so you're fighting from a distance you're doing damage from a distance so you don't get pinched you don't get flanked from enemy armor or enemy soldiers because in reality one assault class soldier could take a heavy tank out if he flanks you if he flanks you that's it you're gone So with these heavier tanks, what you want to do is you want to do everything from a distance. You want to shoot from a distance. You want to do damage from a distance. Also, make sure you guys don't do what I did here. I wasted so many rounds on soft targets, not knowing that there was another tank around. So 
If you guys know for certain that all the enemy tanks are down, go nuts. By all means, kill every soft target that you see out there. But, luckily for me, my chassis just happens to be angled towards him. And this tree happens to be in the way. This tree really saved my life. So, if, so this reminds me. If you guys could use trees, buildings, hills, rocks, anything to your advantage, use them. Cover is cover. Also, smokes. If you're trying to get away from a sticky situation, smokes will help you out. They won't know where in, in the smoke you will be, so they might shoot at you. There's a high chance they might not hit you they'll miss and if you guys have to make a run for it you guys have to run I was trying to get over this hill to repair luckily I made it but I wanted to get my health back up so that my survivability goes back up so if yeah if he shoots me going uphill to rearm and refuel uh, get health I'll take more than just one or two shots to take me out but that's it for today. I hope you guys find these tips helpful. I hope it helps out on your journey on becoming a better tank driver. I will end the video here. If you guys see any improvement, let me let me know guys in the comment section. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. And if you guys want to see more content out of me in the future, please consider subscribing. I really like doing this for you guys. If I could make you guys laugh, sweet. If I could help you guys out in any way with these guides or anything, let me know. But that's it, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. See you guys.